Now, fresh in from Japan, we have this superb Honda Motor Compo 50 or NCZ50, or sometimes known as the Honda Trunk Bike. As you can see, it's basically a box with two wheels with a carrying handle in each corner, along with a lashing point. Well, the idea behind this was in the early 80s, all the Japanese manufacturers were battling to see who could be biggest and best. And Honda, already having a large car division and motorcycle division, thought they could combine the two and also deal with Japan's ever-growing congestion crisis. So if you purchased Honda's small car for Japan, which was called the Honda City, you had the option of a motor compo that would fit into the boot of the car. The idea being you'd drive to work, leave it a fair distance from the office, take out your motor compo, ride the last few miles, and then repeat the process to go home. Now, this bike is in fantastic condition for the year, but does have the odd age-related mark. Now, this is the original color of Shetland White, and I have restored these before, and they're very easy to restore. But to be honest, I think originality is the key here. And as they say, it can only be original once. So let's have a look how you actually build up the motor compo. First, open this panel here, which is the cover panel. This is a two-handed job, so you'll have to bear with me. Firstly, get one of the bars. In this case, we're gonna do the right one. Whoops. Lock it into the section there, and then turn the locking point. Nut, so that's locked in. Secondly, bar number two making sure to get it in the right place and again all fairly straightforward to use the seat then springs up and the original panel locates here and here and locks in so there you have now your trunk bike transformed into a reusable moped and very nice it is too. Now the foot rests fold out as you can see and that only took less than a minute to do. Now let's hear how she sounds. Usual Honda runs like a little Swiss watch and a very nice example. Well, these are very collectible now. People have them as paddock bikes. People have them just as fun. One thing I will point out, this little beauty still has the original mirror on the little ball joint there. That's unique to the motor compound. It's often missing. So that's a nice addition to have. So if you're looking for a nice Honda collectible, or you collect mopeds in general, this has got to be the one for you. We're happy to export worldwide. Just contact us for details. Uh, another thing to note is no motor compos show the mileage. They only show speed, so you can never tell how many miles or kilometres one has done. The overall condition of one is the only way to tell, and I think this one is probably a 4,000 kilometre bike at most. Most of these are very low mileage, I've never had a hard time. It's not a bike you want to ride miles and miles. Now, so again, if you're looking for very cool piece of early 80s memorabilia from Honda. Please feel free to contact us on the website www.classicandrare.uk and we look forward to hearing from you.